The newest fad in technology actually has our answer guys pretty pumped up. Hi there, I'm Paul. And I'm Phil. We're the answer guys this time around looking to improve your outdoor leisure time with high-tech products for outside. Bikinis and baseball. Two of my favorites. You betcha. But first a comment about this pump-up craze. Now it all started when Re that, uh, that's a leading shoe manufacturer. Exactly. Put airbags inside their tinnies so you could f -f -f pump them up. And the improved fit is supposed to enhance your athletic performance. Yeah, or maybe it just pumped up company profits. I'm not sure. But I think this whole pump-up craze may be getting out of hand. This is the AirFit by Mizuno, a baseball glove that has a bladder inside and a pump so you can pump it up for a snugger fit. It's about 120 bucks. There's a kid's model that sells for 80. Inside the glove, the bladder looks like this. It covers the back of the hand and the base of the last three fingers. When you pump it full of air, it gives the glove a custom fit. And that's an important innovation because I know how many of us suffer from those ill-fitting baseball gloves. Let's try it out, Phil. Oh, okay. okay, how many here, here Paul? Put some pepper on it, buddy. Come on now! Whether or not you spend this kind of money on a glove may depend upon your proficiency at the game of baseball. I'll get it, Phil. Thank you, Paul. Hi there. How do we look? These are pump-up bicycle helmets from uh, Reebok and Bell. And obviously intended for someone with a much smaller head than an answer guy. Let's take a look at the way these babies work. There's the pump unit. There's the bladder around the inner edge of the helmet. And when you pump it up, that bladder fills with air, giving you a more customized fit. Actually, not a bad idea if you've got small kids, because it's sometimes tough to get a decent fit on them with a bicycle helmet. 130 bucks. You know, maybe just your regular helmet without the pump thing would be okay for small kids. Well, and you knew it had to come to this. This is a pump-up bikini. It's called Top Secret by a company named uh, Hot Coals, and they claim it's the world's first inflatable bikini. They must be very proud. Their slogan is, pump it a little to turn heads, pump it a lot to create a frenzy. Wow. Now, a supermodel, Cindy Crawford, was actually supposed to be here by now. Yeah, about 10 minutes ago, to, uh, actually. To help us with this. Yeah, and I don't know, uh, Phil, what are we, what are we going to do with, uh, Phil? What are we, uh, what are we, Phil? See? Let me show you how it works. I'll what? show you how it works. I can show you how it works. If you look close here in the uh, cleavage area, I guess, see, there's a little thing there right there. And when you pump that up, it uh, fills up a, a lining in the cups, and you just pump it up until you're um, done. Now, they tell us you can wear this swimming. It won't keep you afloat. And it stays inflated for about six to eight hours. So beyond that, your secret's out. There it is, the top secret pump-up bikini. And finally, if you're going to use all this stuff, that means you're going to be outside in the sun a lot, and we all know that's a dangerous thing. Well, you betcha, Phil. You know, tan skin is really just damaged skin, and it only takes one severe sunburn in your life to make you run the risk of a melanoma or skin cancer. However, the answer guys know exactly how long they can stay out in the sun, because we carry one of these, the Arathema Ultraviolet Intensity Meter. That's a neat thing. It actually measures the sunburn effectiveness of ultraviolet radiation. This will help you know how long you can stay in the sun without getting a burn. The meter comes with this sensor and an amplifier that gives you a digital readout in minimal erythema doses per hour. You just calibrate the meter there to your skin type, uh, Phil and I are type 2, and you take the reading. And you divide 60 minutes by the number you get in the meter, and that tells you about how long you can stay in the sun. This is just a little over 2. Paul and I can stay out just a little under a half an hour. Which means we don't have a lot of time left, so Phil, what, what, what you want to play some catch? I will if you put the bikini top back on. Can I think about it? Sure. Till next time, I'm Paul. And I'm Phil. We're the answer guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put Why? The, I'm not gonna put it. It doesn't look bad. I'm not gonna put the look good on you. No. Oh, and you know something else? All those muscles you see under Phil's lab coat? <laughs> Animal balloons. Eat your hearts out, Hans and Franz.